Hello everyone, this is Ashish. Welcome back to Talk4712 and today we are having an extremely interesting topic of discussion. We are going to talk about the memory palace technique or the original name of it would be the Lucy method. Now this method is old and when I say old it is back in the BC days old. It is back in the ancient Roman Empire, the Greek Empire but surprisingly even after 2000 years this method is having firm application on our day to day life and I've used it extensively to get very good scores in semester examination. I still use it on a daily basis to remember what I'm going to talk about in my YouTube videos. I've also used it a lot to remember my speeches of what I'm going to talk about in the seminars that I've given. But you can choose to use it however you want to use it. This method is basically for everyone who is having a poor memory but wants to develop a flawless memory. Yes, this method actually gives you a perfect memory. It is almost like you have written things down on a piece of paper and you're reading things out of it. But the only thing is that there is not going to be any paper, any physical paper. You're going to be writing things things down in your head and you are going to be reading straight out of your mind. I'm going to be talking about everything, the technicality, the working principle. I'm going to be also explaining it using an example by the end of this video. But before that, just let me just give you few words and you do your best to remember these words and also do your best to remember these words in the sequence that I'm giving you in. So the words are 12, terrible, application, paragraph, name, speech, grocery, work, limitations, rough or roughness, cesium and semester examinations. Now these words are not connected at all, but still this method is going to help you to remember all of them in a proper sequence. Now this is going to be the most difficult thing. Things that does not really make sense to you, remembering those would be most difficult and it would be easier in every other application where you want to memorize things. Now you might be asking Ashish, why would I want to remember a bunch of words? So here's the thing, in paragraphs, remembering paragraphs, whether, whether it is you giving a speech or you giving a semester examination, it is going to be helpful for you to remember paragraphs. Now how will words help you to remember paragraphs? The paragraphs can be broken down into bullet points. These points each can be represented by a word. When you are reminded of that word, you are reminded of that particular point, you assemble those points in a proper sequence because this method is also going to help you to remember things in sequence and you got a paragraph which you can use anywhere you want to use. I can use a paragraph to give this video talk. I can use a paragraph to give a speech in front of thousands of people. I can use this paragraph to just memorize things to write it down in my semester examination. So there are infinite number of application of doing that. You can just use this method a very small at a very small scale. This method can be useful for you to remember names. For example, we have all been in a situation where we just met a person. I introduced myself to that person. That person introduced himself or herself to me. And then after two minutes, I forgot that person's name. Now it is going to be super awkward for me to go and ask that person's name again. But this method is going to help you. Basically how it works is that there are things in your head that you cannot forget but there are things that are coming inside your head all the time that you're forgetting all the time. So this method actually helps you connect the new things that are entering with the old things. So if you want to remember, you just have to make a connection and it starts making sense to you. We do forget things that do not make sense to us. It's as simple as that. Or you can just use it to remember your grocery list. <laughs> or let us say you are on a phone call and the person on the other side is giving you four or five things that you should remember. You're not having a piece of paper to note it down. This method is kind of like noting things down. So how it actually works is that it is going to connect things that you cannot forget with things that are just coming to you right now. And if you may just make that proper click connection, then you are never going to forget it as long as you don't want to forget it. So let us first talk about the working principle, how it actually works. So this is how it works or this is how I understood that it works. There are two different kinds of memories. There's the core memory and the surface memory. Core memory is the kind of memory that you can't really forget. For example, the alphabets or uh, the driving skills that you are having, or let us say the place where you grew up or the path from your place to the washroom. 
or your favorite restaurant you can't really forget about the pathways and these things or you can't really forget about your favorite movie the story of that movie you can't really forget about the lyrics of your favorite song but you can forget about a paragraph on steering mechanism that you have to go and execute on the day of the examination you can forget a lot of things for example you might have most likely forgotten about the 12 words that you that i gave you in the beginning of this video so those things that you can forget are called the surface memory those are not very much settled in your head and whatever is in the surface are easier to evaporate but what is in the core will stay over there so our job over here is to connect the core memory with the surface memory once you do that you won't forget the things that you have just received that can go from any place from the names that you just received to the paragraphs that you want to remember that you want to talk about in your next speech all right let us talk about the core memory in a little bit more detailed manner so there are two different kinds of core memory number one is the path one and the second one is the story one let us get to the path first so have you ever been in a situation where you have traveled from one place to another using a particular path and you've done it only two to three times and then two to three years later you again come back to that place and you can almost remember everything that you can remember when is the next left and what is when i'm going to see this particular statue and how the houses are going to look and there's a super mall over here you can almost remember everything how do you think you are able to do that even if you have just traveled through that path only two to three times it's because human brain really remembers very well the path through which they have physically navigated like you have physically navigated through that space it is going to be extremely difficult for you to forget that same goes with stories for example there is a particular movie that you watched full and you've watched it only once you invested only three hours to watch it but still you can remember almost everything in the proper sequence as well you can remember the important parts of the movie you can explain that full story to your friend also how can you do it just by watching it only once because stories are extremely important for humans they really dig deep and get engraved our in, in our memory very well so stories are another good way or another good example of core memory now our job over here is to connect the surface memory for example whatever information is coming to us that does not make a lot of sense to us or we have not done sufficient repetition of that memory how to remember that so what we are going to do is we are going to connect that surface memory to the core memory so that we don't really forget about it i'll give you a few examples for example back in 2017 i was in bairc training school and there was one subject it was called health physics now in this health physics there was one table that i had to remember and in that table basically there were different radiations and what you have to do to as a contraceptic action if you got that radiation so we had to remember this 10 to 20 things that were in that table and uh, i memorized that using the memory palace technique and i still cannot forget a lot of things for example cesium was connected to muscle and i still remember that you know why because i connected in this way cesium reminds me of caesar caesar reminds me of rome rome reminds me of greek and uh, ancient greek there were a lot of greek gods and if you look at any of those those are very muscular so cesium is connected to muscles and i still cannot forget about that so i still remember that the semester examination happened and then after two three months later in the next semester the viva of that same subject happened and i was still able to retain that after three months also so it is not a rote process that you are going to mug it up you're going to just puke it out on the day of the examination and you're going to forget about it it is actually helpful for you to remember things for a long duration of time another example is that there was a symbol of surface roughness in our mechanical engineering and we had to remember different parts of that symbol because the symbol was very complicated so this symbol used to give a lot of different data it was basically used in engineering drawing and all and it is it used to give five to six different data so i used a memory palace kind of it like there was a symbol that looked like this i'm going to show the picture over here and i replaced it using a truck and then different parts of the truck i assigned to the different things that were there in that symbol and helped me remember that for a long time for like two to three years of me giving competitive examination i was able to remember that so if you convert these memories that you are having tough time remembering to something which is physical and you can allocate it to different places in that box that you have created kind of like a palace then it is going to be easier for you to remember it for a long duration now here's the limitation of the memory palace technique you cannot use it to understand or learn or remember or retain concepts so here's the thing you don't really need 
any other technique to remember or retain concepts. Why? Because concepts itself goes directly to the core memory. For example, I learned how the liquid engines work during my time in Indian Space Research Organization. But I don't think that I will ne ever need any memory palace technique to remember that. Matter of fact, it will be difficult for me to get that knowledge out of my head because I understood it properly. So the concepts gets directly into your head and you won't require any memory palace technique to retain that. So whatever is not making much sense to you, the technique is for that. Now, let us come back to those 12 words that I gave in the beginning of the video and I'll tell you the whole story of how I remembered those words using the memory palace technique. So I'll create a scenario which I created in my head. Now this is going to be a collaboration of path and story because I think that is the best way to use memory palace technique. Include both. Include a path because it is difficult to forget path but also attach a story to that then it becomes almost next to impossible to forget about that. So here's the story that I created. I'm sitting in an auditorium in VSSE and the time is during my ISRO induction training program. Program. It was two months training and I used to do this every day. So it is very well deep engraved in my head. So I'm sitting somewhere in the last bench in an auditorium that I know very well because I've sat there every day for 30 days, more than 30 days, 60 days, close to that, right? So I know everything about this. So it is very well visualized in my head. Now here's how the story proceeds. I look at my wristwatch, it is 12 o'clock and then I think that I'm getting some terrible headache. So what I do, the next thing I do is take out my cell phone and start to Google how to get rid of a terrible headache. And all of a sudden I got a suggestion that this is an app that helps you to get rid of headache. App reminds me of application. Next, I open that app and that app basically opens a paragraph of text given over there. I start reading that text and that text actually tells me that I have to prepare tea with ginger and it's going to help me with headache. So I decided, okay, I'm going to do that. But right then, when I was reading more about it, I heard someone calling my name. Ashish Ranjan, get on the stage and start talking about how to improve your public speaking. And this is extremely bizarre. This does not really happen when someone is teaching over there about rocket science and someone calls you to go on stage. But the better, the more bizarre you can make, better off you are because it is much more difficult to forget bizarre things. So I went on the stage, gave a little bit of speech and right after that, I decided to go to the grocery store. Why? Because I need to get my tea. I need to get my ginger. I went to the counter. The shopkeeper starts talking to me because I know that person. By the way, I also know the shop so I can properly visualize where I'm sitting right now or standing right now or interacting in my head. The shopkeeper asks me, how's work going on? And I said, work is fine. I'm enjoying it. And bye bye. This is the money. I'm walking out. I walked out. I know the path very well. I can right now also visualize it very well. And over there, I saw a big poster of my one of my favorite movies, Limitless. The Limitless it reminds me of the word limitation. Now, this does not really happen. You're not going to see a gigantic poster, but in my head, it is big. So that I cannot really forget about that. I walked a little bit further in the path that I'm very well aware of, and I stumbled because of some rough patch of road. And then I looked down and I saw a few bottles filled with cesium. Now cesium, if you do not know, I'm going to put a picture over there. So it is very well or easily visualized if you know what cesium is. And then that cesium reminded me of the BASC training days when I used the memory palace technique to clear a lot of my semester examinations. So you get the point. This is how I remembered all the different 12 words that I told you guys in the beginning of the video using a story. I created a bizarre story and I also added a path to it so that I can not forget about it in any near future. So make it as complicated as or as bizarre as possible or you can use weird things over there because it is much more difficult to forget weird things but also add a path to it, a path that you can't really forget. I've been over there for 60 days. So obviously I remember that path. I remember that auditorium. I remember that shop and uh, that's, it was easier for me use that. There was uh, one time I was taking a seminar. It is called Art of Speaking. And at that 
particular session, I was talking about public speaking. So this memory palace technique is very, very important when it comes to public speaking because you need to remember the whole speech. So one of my students already knew about me talking about memory palace technique because I've talked about it about one to two years ago. So he saw that video and I told him to explain that because I wanted to see his way of speaking. And he started to explain and he gave me somewhere around 10 words because he also started explaining the memory palace technique like this only. So as he was saying those 10 random words, I started to create the memory palace on that spot itself. And it was even more bizarre that I am sitting over there, I go out there, I will see something very big statue of a particular thing that will remind me of a particular word. And then I go out to the balcony and jump off the balcony. <laughs> and then I start flying and the roads are filled with blood. Then I take the right turn. So as bizarre as you can make, so that it is very vivid and you can actually remember the full thing the full story or the full creator or imagination of your head that will help you remember things for a longer period of time so with this example i think it must be very clear how we connect the surface memory with the core memory those 12 random words try to create any story you want those 12 words you know i used it to just remember the whole structure of this talk that i'm giving you only you don't believe it okay here we go semester examination so the semester examination i had to talk at the end as well in much more detail but what happened is that the video became too long so i decided it is not that much necessary to talk again but yes this word reminded me that i have to put emphasis how much memory palace can become important for your semester exams and I few words few words meaning 12 words it reminds me in my head poor memory poor Every memory means terrible memory so terrible words reminds me of that three other application where you want to memorize reminds me of talking about applications as well things in paragraphs reminds me of how you can remember paragraphs using this technique speech in front of thousands of people reminds me to talk about how it will be helping you to give speeches for you to remember names for example or you also can i should remember that i should talk about how you can use it to remember names as well just use it to remember your grocery reminds list. me to be casual and how it can be useful for your day-to-day -day basis as well how it actually works for example, i'll talk about the working principle that's when i started to talk about the core memory and surface memory example cesium was connected. reminds me of talking about the cesium example of surface reminds roughness. me of talking about about the surface roughness one now here's the limitation reminds me to talk about the limitation and that's it so all those 12 words were used in this very video you can use it too and i hope you learned a lot from this video i'll see all of you in the next one till then bye <laughs>